Multiplication. Multiplication is a quick way of adding up many of the same numbers or adding equal groups of things together. The parts of a multiplication algorithm are multiplicand times multiplier equals product. And you will need to know those parts, the names of those parts, as we work through multiplication. Let's do a review of factors and multiples, something you've already mastered by the end of fourth grade. Factors are numbers that can be divided into exactly a specific number. So factors are basically all the numbers that you multiply together to make a given number. Let's start with 20. Let's think of some numbers that divide into 20. 1 does, 2, not 3, 4 does, 5, 6 does not, 7, no, 8, no, 9, no, 10, yes. And so I notice that 4 and 5 go together, 2 and 10 to go together, so 1 would go with 20. These are all of the factors that divide, these are all the numbers or factors that divide exactly in, that divide into exactly 20. All of the factors of 15 would be 1, 2, no, 3, yes, 4, no, 5, yes. Ooh, I noticed that 3 and 5 go together, so 1 would go with 15. There are no other numbers between 1 and 15 that divide into 15 evenly. So all of the factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, and 15. This year we will be looking at factors and needing to find which is the greatest common factor. Sometimes we'll do the greatest common factor of two numbers, sometimes three. Hardly will we do anything above that amount. So we write all of the factors of 24, which are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. And then I've written out all the factors of 36, which you see here. To find the greatest common factor, we look and see what factor are, is shared with both 24 and 36. I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. No other numbers are shared between 24 and 36. The greatest of all of those that are being shared is 12. So 12 is our greatest common factor, or what we abbreviate as capital G, capital C, capital F, GCF. So the greatest common factor of 24 and 36 is 12. Next, you did some work with multiples. Actually, you've been working with multiples since you entered kindergarten. The first multiple that you learned were the ones. What, and you learned how to count by ones. This is just basically skip counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on and so forth. Multiples are numbers that can be divided exactly by a specific number. So, once you learned how to count by ones, then you skip counted by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, so on and so forth. Then you learned how to skip count by fives. Then you learned the multiples of twos and threes, fours, sixes, sevens, eights, nines, elevens, twelves, and so on and so forth. So let's write all of the multiples of 3. So the first multiple of 3 is 3. That's the same as saying 3 times 1. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12. Or basically we keep skip counting every third one. And you keep going on, on and on and so forth till you get to infinity. And we can just indicate that by multiple dots. That means to continue on and on until infinity. What we know is every single one of these factors that we've written here, multiples, are all divisible by 3. They can all be divided by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, 3, 6 divided by 3 is 2, 9 divided by 3 is 3. So these are numbers that can be divided exactly by that specific number 3. 
Now we will be working to find least common multiples this year. Between the two numbers, 3 and 4, we write all of the multiples of 3 and all of the multiples of 4. So we've already written the multiples of 3 previously. And now we're going to write the multiples of 4. 4 times 1, 4 times 2, 4 times 3, 4 times 4, 4 times 5, and so on and so forth. Or 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Now we're going to look for the multiple that is the least number that they both share. So I'm looking here, and I notice, oh, they both share 12. So 12 is the least common multiple of 3 and 4. Least common multiple is indicated by the abbreviation, capital letters, LCM. So the LCM of 3 and 4 is 12. And that is a quick review of the introduction to multiplication, uh, the review of factors and multiples which we will be using as we move on through the school year.